오늘은 스탠리 패러블을 해볼 예정입니다. 이게 한글 패치가 나왔다고 해서 스탠리 패러블 한번 더 스탠리 패러블 울트라 디럭스가 이제 이번에 한글 패치가 새로 나왔다고 해서 그거 한번 해볼까 생각 중입니다. 옛날에 되게 재밌게 했던 게임인데 이번에 무려 울트라 디럭스를 붙여서 나왔다고 합니다. 나레이터가 종일 뒤에서 쭈얼쭈얼 거리는 게임인데 이전에 스탠리 패러블을 플레이해 본 적이 있으신가요? 네 컴퓨터가 거의 보이지 않을 때까지 슬라이드를 조정하세요 근데 그러면 안됩니다 왜냐면은 여러분들한테 안 보이기 때문에 방송하면 은 현재 시각 지금 몇 시야? 오후 1시 44, 43분? 오케이 접근성 기능은 메인 메뉴에서 설정할 수 있습니다 알겠습니다 잠깐만 근데 뭔가 미묘하게 해상도가 안 맞는 것 같은데 아니네 안티알레시 때문인가? 시야각을 조금 넓힙시다 됐스 게임 시작 This is the story of a man named Stanley Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427 Employee number 427's job was simple He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. 아, 이제 제가 조종할 수 있군요. 어, 캐릭터가 좀 미끄러지네요, 이거. 근데 이 스탠리 패러블이라는 게임이 나레이션을 들으면서 게임이 진행되는 게임인데 엔딩이 굉장히 많은 게임이죠. 숨겨져 있는 엔딩도 되게 많고요. 그 중에 제가 기억나는 거는 여기에 비벼서 저 창문 바깥으로 나갈 수 있는 방법이 있었던 것 같은데. 이 바깥으로 나갈 수 있는 그런 엔딩도 있었던 것 같고. 예, 도전 과제가 깨지네요. 되는 거 보니까 한번 해볼까 여기 나가 볼까? 내 기억에 남는 게 이런 것밖에 없어. 이농담에질리시나요 네. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want, like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. 
I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. 다 아셨나요? 이제 네번 해주면 안 돼? 이제 안 내보내주나? 좌클릭 누르면 버튼 누르는 소리 나네요 아니 오기 생겨서 언제까지 하나 본다 어 노래가 아니 다시 반복이네 루프네 여러분 안녕하세요 오늘 방송은 흰색 배경화음과 함께하게 되었네요 괜히 나왔나 여기? 진짜 끝나지 않을까 이제? 어 기타 어 됐다 이제 시기 귀찮지 얘도 너도 이제 기, 기타 치기 귀찮잖아 뭐야 왜 아무런 변화가 없냐 누가 누가 더 오랫동안 여기 버티나 한번 해보자는 거야? 여보세요? 나레이션님? 갔어 얘? 여보세요? 이러고 안 와, 혹시? 뭐안 나오나 봐. 네가 이겼다. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 
근데 여러분 이게 숨겨진 게 진짜 되게 많다 보니까 제가 알기로 막 문을 몇번 두드리 내 옛날에 했을 때 문을 몇번 두드리고 하면은 뭐 다른 문이 열려지고 막 그런 것도 있었던 걸로 기억하는데 뭔지 기억이 안 나네요 일단 그냥 길 따라가 볼까? 나레이션 따라서 뭐가 달라졌나? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. 해고 당하지 않는 꿀팁 말 적게 하기 승진이나 인정을 받을 말 기대는 말고 믿을 수 없. 어 청소 도구합니다. 뭐냐 여기? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. 뭐 있는 거 아니야 여기? 비자로 있는데? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. 나 네, 여기 있을래. No to still be here. 아늑한데? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in. 네가 뭘 알아? 이거 자체가 휴식이라고 우리한테는. 왜라고 물어본다고 뭔 대답이 나와? 우리한테 이게 인생이야. 알트노트스 But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. 아 근데 네가 무슨 말을 계속 해주니까 기대하게 되는데 난 뭔가 뭔가 일어날 것만 같은데. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you talk about this with your friends, you'll say, "Oh." Did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. 너희 청소 도구 엔딩 봤어? 난 청소 도구 엔딩이 진짜 제일 좋더라. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. 이제 그냥 말을 막 하기 시작한데. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. 더 있으면 안돼 여기. 나는 청소 도구 멘딩이 제일 좋더라. 안에 뭐 없나 여기? 나레이션 진짜 끝난 건가? 다시 안 와? 10초만 기다려 볼까? 10 9 8 7 6 5 
4 3 2 1 Ah, you too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Oh, Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, 한번 말하는 대로 한번 해보자. 그래, 네가 뭘 바라는지 모르겠지만. 어, 여기 뭐야? 사장의 화장실. 만약 사장이 손해를 봤다면 그건 사장이 선택한 일이고 사장은 자신이 한 말을 사장 스스로 알고 있기 때문이지. 극한의 화장실. 이쪽 창문으로는 안 나가지나? 컴퓨터. 이 문은 뭘까? 핸더 비즈니스 전략 일단 사장실로 가보자. 어. 안녕하세요, 선생님. 안녕하세요, what he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. What is there here? 아무만 봐도 문 같이 생긴 게 있는데 여기. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by Booyah! itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Didn't just, man. I got admitted. Hey, what is it? 914번에 914번에 전화 전화하라는데 914? 900 이 전화기 있나? 914번에 전화하게 마인드 컨트롤 탈출구 
Back up. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, so 234번 망가져 있는데? This mind control facility, it was too horrible. To 뭔가 있나? 저 234번에? Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Oh, he was in someone In someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible mm. power e. over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. How do you do that? Can I go in? Oh. There's a key in 이것도 뭐 힌트가 있나 봐. 저게 4번인가? 1 2 3 제 위로 올라갈 수 있는 방법이 있을까? 깜깜한 건데. 어? 여기 계단 있다 이걸 열면은 안 되나? 일단 안에 들어가 보자 팩... 팩시디티... 파워? 시스템 파워 오노프 오 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 his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you want? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. <coughs> Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame 아. we have so little time left to enjoy it. moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. 
More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine and set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Ooh. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Ah, what can I do? You go. I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Oh, 잠깐만. Time doesn't grow on trees. 시간이 늘었는데? Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now, or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. And you just hear anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten, won, solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is, <laughs> Stanley? You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you made humble. This is not a challenge; it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine, but I'm going to destroy it first. So you oh, can't. 안녕히 직원 번호 427. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Anyo, 새로운 427번이네요. 반갑습니다. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Aka, 234번이었나요? 누가 그 없었는데 자리에? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, <sighs> yes, truly a sure room worth you. admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immac. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 여긴 뭐야? 아 창고구나. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. 아까 그 사장실 엘리베이터로 한번 내려가볼까? Either feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Whew. 
올라가 볼까? 이보다 더 높은 곳이 있을까? 어. 아, 빛나는 종이다. 빛나는 종이. 이제 슬슬 도착할 때안 됐어. 어디까지 올라가? 이 엘리베이터 뭐냐? 스태핑 인투 이즈 매니저즈 오피스 스탠리 워즈 원스 어게인 스턴 투 디스커버 노트 앤 인디케이션 오브 애니 휴먼 라이프 워크 쿠드 잇 미인 스탠리 원드 더 라우드 투 노보디 히 비겐 워드 근데 여기 뒤에 이.. 이거는 안 되나? Pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the box. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. 문이 나 열어. 여기 오른쪽은 길이 없나? 그냥 벗 꺼볼까? 나레이션 말대로 그냥 나레이션 말 전부 다 듣고 한번 꺼보자 저기 아까 전에 제가 그냥 저 숫자가 너무 궁금해서 켜봤는데 이번에 꺼봅시다 난말 잘르는 착한 아이 나레이션님 말씀하시면 무조건 따르는 말잘 듣는 사람 Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. 그가 정이고 그가 정답이다. 그는 나의 신이야. In the building, Stanley's co-workers, the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 근데 마우스 버튼 두개 동시에 누르면 전진하네 앞으로 우클릭이랑 좌클릭이랑 같이 하면 올라가봐 노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노노
But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Control. 아까 한번 터져봐서 아니까. Happy or sad or content, walking, working. 이번엔 꺼보자 이거. And commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Sorry, my good sir. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. 아, 탈출엔딩이구나. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. 아니 여기 이런, 이런 공간이 있다고? 이렇게? 갑작스럽게? 주차금지 공간 뒤에다가? 안 나가면 어떻게 돼? 들어가 보자 일단. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. 다시금 여기야? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, 새로운 콘텐츠다. Oh, new content? What does that mean? New content. New content. for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Today, so far, it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. More. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if um, 
Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Oh, Give me the content, Stanley. 새로운 콘텐츠. All right. All right, let's see it. 점프 가능한 원. The jump circle. Jump가 가능해졌다고? 대박. Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? New content. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if oh wait, there's more. 30초 동안 yes. 30초를 새는 거는 대단하긴 한데. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. 새로운 콘텐츠를 플레이해 주셔서 감사합니다. That's it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley. This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? Oh, I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally. They accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? 어 뭐야? 이렇게 안 생겼었잖아. 월요일. 어, 그치 원래 이렇게 생겼었지. 스 Stanley. Come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. 잠깐만 여기 뭔데? 뭐야 여기 it's where I've been storing all my있었어? favorite memories, so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley ah, Parable 2013, was? Stanley before Parable it was suddenly the cheap re-release. Remember the game in 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. 관객상 더 스탠리 패러블. What are you talking about? I'm going to go 그 일이 있었다는 것을 웃어봐요. 
뉴욕타임즈 새로운 비디오 게임 오늘 발매되다 수상 후보 수상 후보 수상 후보 베타 작업 진행 중 And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. 하지 마세요. 어? 오리지널. 추억의 공간 보수공 보수구역. 오, 막 이런 거 저런 거 있네요. 올해 인물 개발자인가요? 끝은 절대로 끝 끝나지 않는다? 야 근데 이거 한글 패치 하신 분들 이미지 파일까지 다 한글 패치 하셨네 지린다 기억 모음 Here's another moving passage This time from GameSpot.com The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. 9 out of 10. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. 어, 뭔가 되게 철학적이네. 뭐야, 야, 못 지나가게 돼 있는데? 진지한 방, 2013년. 아, <웃음> these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the <laughs> online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine Steam what's been Steam Nivea 모아놓은 것이구나 여기는. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? 솔직히 말해서 이 게임을 끝까지 플레이하기 너무 귀찮다. 내레이터는 굉장히 불쾌하고 재미가 없다. 농담하고 이야기하는 건 웃기지도 않고 짜증만 난다. 각각의 엔딩 자체도 재미가 없고 엔딩마다 할 것도 별거 없으며 몇몇 엔딩을 보기 위해서는 지루한 소리를 들, 듣고 있어야 한다. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights. 근데 일단 게임은 제일 먼저 즐거워야지 재밌고. 본질이 흐려졌구만 비추 리뷰 개 많네 게임의 아이디어는 좋았지만 복수 결말과 패러디 요소가 있음에도 게임은 순식간에 단조롭고 지루해진다 You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh goodness, this is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it. Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, 
What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley parable isn't quite as sterling as what's this one got to say? 전 이게 무언가에 우아가 되어야 한다는 것은 알지만 그 잘난 체하는 듯한 목소리가 계속 중얼거린 것을 듣는 것은 그닥 즐겁지 않네요. Explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button. Well, well, yes, yes. I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by... Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer in my... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to yeah, you again. Yeah, you're Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's... Oh, oh, hello. hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything 멈췄다. we've been through. I've had so much time. I'm keeping track after the year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not move for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. Hey, narration. Narration. What's that? Oh, cute boy. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. End is never the end, 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 is never the end. Uri Almana skip hunger. Well. 건물 되게 튼튼한 애라고 생각하고 있었는데 바로 무너졌네. 빛이 나는데 이거 포탈 배경 아니냐 거의? 
새로운 생태계가 생겼다 여기에 새로운 생태계가 없어졌다 여기에 어? 뭐지? 스킵 다 못해? 얼마 시간이 흐른 거야? 세상에 아무것도 보이지 않아 어 나레이션씨 계시죠? All of his co-workers were gone What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room Perhaps he had simply missed a memo 여러분 뉴 콘텐츠에 다른 게또 있었나요? 어 뭐야 뉴뉴 콘텐츠가 생겼는데요? 새새 콘텐츠가 생겼는데? 이번엔 뭐가 생겼는데? 오 Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. 투자자 쇼케이스래. 무려 스탠리 패러블 울트라 디럭스가 아니라 스탠리 패러블 2 is just so much catchier than ultra deluxe don't you think ultra deluxe what does it even mean but the stanley parable 2 now that's an artistic statement 이거 투투의 oriented it screams progress and innovation in a long franchise 둘이 되어 버린 날이 진것 같은 너의 모습에 하나일 때보다 난 늘었고 어전에 네가 가져간 나의 반쪽 때문인가 그래서 넌 둘이 될수 있었던 거야 아니 번역 지리네 <웃음> 그들이 돌아왔다 두 개의 문 The Stanley Parable 2 Stanley Parable 2 회의에 참가해주셔서 감사합니다 더 많은 Stanley Parable 더 좋은 Stanley Parable Win Win 연속적인 소비자 인지도 인식의 전환, 시너지, 오프라인을 통해 접근, 고객 중심의 우편 마케팅, 빨간색, 총체적 가치에 영향을 줌, 원에서 투로 
Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable. Okay, 이해다만 다 강조해 놓은 거 아니야? But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. 누가 내 빨간 펜 가져감? 나. 숫자 2로 수다 12시 2분 눈 2개, 귀 2개, 콧구멍 2개, 팔 2개, 다리 2개 이쪽이 무대입니다 중요한 투자자 여러분 이쪽이 무대입니다 유 새로운 컨텐츠 더 스탠리 패러블 2 즐기세요. 당신의 멋진 이름을 게임에서 들으세요. 들으세요. 오 새로운 컨텐츠를 내 이름 오 뭐야? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? 게임을 플레이하는 플레이어의 이름을 말하는 버튼. 여기서 체험해 보세요. 이름. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of the future. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes. Woo! See? What a thrill! What a rush! That was Jim! you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon you'll start to lose all sense of who you actually are. Jim, Jim. 짐! 컴백! 짐! 고 짐! 내짐 어디 갔나요? 돌려주세요 아 제가 찾고 있던 짐 여기 있었네요 어? 문이 양쪽으로 열려있네 I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing the feature. Epilogue, also? Yeah, but here there's a lot of screen shots. 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 새로운 요소, 새로운 콘텐츠, 새로운 아이디어 공짜로 새롭고 쉬운 도전과자 얻기 여기서 받아가세요 Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? 
Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. Ah, I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. 안 되잖아. 그냥 바다만 가라매. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? 꽤 있지? 안 가본데 지금. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? 언젠간 잘될 거야. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. Actually, maybe I should have gone with no, no. I've made my decision. We're moving on. To 한번 끝은 절대로 끝나지 않는다. 이 티셔츠야 말로 최고의 새로운 콘텐츠다. 이런 씨 안심을 주는 양동이. 양동이없는데 as long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable 2. Stanley Parable 2가 정말 기대돼요. 근데 이 양동이는 제가 계속 들고 있어야 되는 건가요? 달달거리는데? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. 에필로그 한번 보고 올까? 에필로그가 어디였지? 이쪽이었던 것 같은데? 아 여기 있다. 그냥 같은 곳으로 나오는 거였구나. 끈 끝없는 구멍 끝나지 않아요. 설정하기 세계 챔피언? 너무 궁금한데? 잠겨있잖아 끝없는 구멍에 들어가보자 인피니티 홀 시간 깊이 구멍의 무한성 깊이 무한대 테두리 주변부 Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. 
This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right, infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. 이걸 도대체 누가 원한 거야? 이런 무슨 진짜 편리하네요. 주위를 눌러서 구멍에서 탈출할 수 있다니. 이런 편리함이. 어? 점프 가능한 원. 아까 다 썼구나. Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh well. Bonus. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece. Oh, come on. 아니 울트라 디럭스랑 투는 다른 거잖아. 그럼 점프 가능하게 해줘야 되는 거 아니야? 좀 다른데 둘이. 어. 당신은 여기 있습니다. 공짜 도전 과제 상품 출구 출구 어디야? 아. 여기구나. 다쳐 있는데? 아닌가? 여기 여기 바깥인가? 스탠리 패러블 2는 망했네. Oh goodness. Um Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the collectibles exhibit. You see, there is a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the collectibles. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles. Okay. All right, I'll get out of your hair now. 여기 위야? 찾을 수 있을까요? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable... 뭔가 되게 잘 비꼰 거 같네. Give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. 요즘 나오는 비디오 게임을 되게 비꼰 거 같은 느낌이네요. 출구다. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Hmm? Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? 
This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. 구멍이 두 개나 있는데. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. 점프 가능한 원에 구멍이 뚫려 있는데. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it, no matter how good these gags are. They won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it, tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh, Stanley Parable 2. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where <laughs> he was a employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. <laughs> 진짜 넣었네, 이거를. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Does something Stanley that would forever true. change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself in the middle of the world. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the process. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Wait, this is just the Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? Stanley picked up the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Given the pressure that the broom is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. 내 친구, 내 평생 친구 양동기라고 하는 거는 조금. 
We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never! Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. No, Kato. Andre. Okay, coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Wow, Pikyo. Chazatta. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. But the bucket is not here. Always. The bucket would, and he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical. Yang Dong and Hanke. Oh, another miniature Stanley figurine. This um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands, Stanley figs, or what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Oh. Yang Dong, you know what I should say? Cut the elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket, soothing him. Comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Yang Dong, you're okay. Nikana, everything's fine. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But that the Gongja Dojan Gaze Clear하는 그거랑 구멍은 어디 있어? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Ah, Yang Dong is always, always coming out. Yang Dong is. Yang Dong, ya. No more, anything, Omni. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently. Everything is going to be fine. I'm not worried. 
별거 아니야. 내일 있었던 일이고. 그럼 이제 스탠리가 알잖아 더 이상. 아 너무 너무 양동이에 대한 얘기만 하는 거 아니야? 에이. 파인 파인. It's okay. His own life in someone else's control. Never. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust. 그래도 양동아, 네가 있어서 다행이다. For the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human. 아닌데 그래서 공짜 도전까지 필요하게 해주는 그건 어디서? Would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. And the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. 점프원이랑 점 그러니까 점프원은 원이랑 구멍도 없어. 다 어디 갔냐? 양동아, 우리가 해냈어. 스탠리 앤더 바켓 웨이티드 인 블랙너스 워즈 잇 오버? 예스 데이 헤드 던잇 스탠리 앤더 바켓 헤드 디피티드 데어 그레이테스트 앤 다크스트 에너미 프리드 셀브스 프롬 더 티라니컬 그립 오브 더 이블 마인 컨트롤 머신 프리드 워즈 나우 미어 모먼츠 어웨이 엑사이티드리 더 투 오브 덤 비겐 투 디스커스 더 카인 오브 라이프 데이 원티드 투 리브 원스 데이 스텝 트루 디스 마시브 도어 The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust. Yang Dong, we got here, so. Oh, 멈췄는데 뭐니? What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? No. Bearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty, until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket, would go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. 아니 양동이 때문에 이런 엔딩이 나온다고? Bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad. Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. 피규어 탐색 협회. 양동이 안 주어. 아니 안 되겠어. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. 양동이가 없이는 안될 것 같아. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. 
Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. Woo! But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Where am I? No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets pass this oh dear. point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain. 아니, 양동이 반이 금지가 있어? Point, which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and. 아니 나갈 나가지도 못하게 나네. Please step in here for a moment. 여기 어딘데? 이것은 양동이일까요? Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one: Is this a bucket? Yeah. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item two: Is this a bucket? Yeah. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item three. Yeah. Is this a bucket? Correct. This is a bucket. Yeah. 이것은 양동입니다. Item four. Is this a bucket? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next. 이게 양동이가 아니라고? 난 믿을 수가 없는데. Is this a bucket? 아니요. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Yeah, it can. Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. 이 문제를 왜 풀고 있어야 되는 거지? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. Should be around here somewhere. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here, and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Yeah. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence, and yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? 
Every single thing in the game was a bucket. My God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity. 아니 이 게임은 도대체 어떻게 버그가 없지? The fact that we haven't got a game. So tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 양동이로 죽지 말아보자. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to. 아까 내가 들어가 보고 싶었던 문에 들어가 보고 싶어. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Tadosh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. But why did you make such a mess? Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. Oh, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. 그래도 하나 더 찾았다. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. 파랑. 파랑이 좋겠군. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Ah, 저쪽에 있던 거랑 여기 아 그거 같은 거 아닌가? 난 부정적인 경우. I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable 세계 경쟁표. 와. 
나 꼴등이야? 다른 데로 가. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? I knew. Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. My God, this is a long time. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Auto mouse 켜면 안 되나 이거? 어 시끄러. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, oh! Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. 어 잠깐 마인크래프트 문 열린 소리 아니었어 이거? 아니 Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that... that... thing. That big, open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. Oh, I'm in the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <웃음> okay. I think this will be just the thing. 이번 어떤 게임인가요? 어? 로켓 리그인가? Wonderful. See this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? You don't stop the bar gauge or tap the pay. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no race track. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun! We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, the pelota. Oh. Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I Here's the portal, Anya. 
How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Damn it. Kung Fu game. 같은데? 여긴 뭐지? 어, 427번이다. 멈춘 건가? 아. 또 여기야? How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what 잼동이를 두고 갈까? 안갔던 데에 가서 피규어를 다 모아야겠어. 아무런 나에게 그런 보상도 없지만 아무런 보상도 없지만 어? 어디 있을까? 전부 찾으면 보상이 있을 것이다. 넓은 방, 많은 상자? 안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어갈게안들어
I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me. 난 지금 목소리가 내 생각을 묘사하고 있는 것에 대해 생각하고 있는 나에 대해 묘사하고 있는 목소리에 대해서 생각하기 시작했는데 그것에 대해 또 생각하는 목소리에 대해 묘사하는 목소리에 대해서 생각하고 있어. This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just, he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream, so he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. 하지만 그런 건 있을 수가 없었습니다. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like, and in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body, and then she turned and ran. Hmm. 아 여러분 제가 잠깐 마실 것좀 가져올게요. 잠시만요.
어 세수도 좀 하고 와야겠다 잠이 안 깨네 
아, 세수하고 마실 거 가져온다 했는데 안 들렸나 보네. 아 그래 들렸어? 이거 가만히 있으니까 시계 움직이는 거라고요? 아 그래? 가만히 안 있으면 시계 안 움직여 이거? 문 닫을래 그러면. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. But this is just not the same as the other one. Now, this will end. He will be able to do it. Now, it's just a little bit closer. But this is just a little bit closer. Now, it's just a little bit closer. Now, it's just a little bit closer. Now, it's just a little bit closer. Here it comes. 어 뭐야? 바뀌었어 방이 또. 어? 이제 내 스텔리 페러블 투 어디 갔어? 스탠리 decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 화이트보드 엔딩. 스탠리 went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 안 가본 데가. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire. 피규어 하나 다 모을 수 있을 것 같아. Standing now. 의심되는 곳이 두 군데 있어요. Stanley for the first. 하나는 이방 끝에 있는 곳에서 계속 타고 가는 거고, 하나는 그 엘리베이터 탈때 왼쪽 탈출구로 내려가는 거. 금방이 상자 많은 곳이잖아 여기가. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 여기보다 큰 방에 어 저기 있네. 아니 근데 이름을 계속 바꾸시면 제가 뭐라 불러야 될까요, 이거? This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial things, that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So instead, I'll just say it's done. We're all done here, and now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. 다음 거야 이게 끝 보상은 nothing. No. Oh, okay, what's that? Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten. Oh. Path that it seemed the office had. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? Explanation that would be all the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. 또 처음부터? 
풍선도 사라졌어. 뭐야, 내 스탠디 페러블트 돌려. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figures. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling stories. 다 모았으니까 이제 보상 주나 보다. 아, 아 잠깐만 또 여기야? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. 스탠리가 수집 요소를 발견했을 때 추억의 공간 와2013 와 스탠리 베러블 와 비교 모든 것 아, Here's where it all began The first collectible Back then we had no idea of how many of them we'd find Sure it said six right there on the screen But how could we know for certain We were so innocent We'll never be like that again, Stanley. 뭐야? 더워지네. 사장의 화장실. And here was a second Stanlerin. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. 그 다음은 어디서 찾았는데 우리가? Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? 파랑 빨강 문. 빨간 파랑 문 여기 아니야? 여기 오른쪽. No, 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 the red and blue door room was the fourth place you found a figanly, not the third. 뒤로 못 가는데? Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? If the red and blue door room feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? 근데 이거 내가 찾았던 순서도 얘가 알고 있는 거야? Let's see. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room. But it's near the memory zone, so it must have happened. Say, 이런데 온 적이 있나요? 이걸 한글 패치로 어떻게 한 거야? 8분 만에 만든 거야? 아, 이거는 except for the other moments picking up figurines which it was exactly like 저아래 뭐가 있을까? 일로 못 내려갈까? 
There was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Even then, Pandero ga? Okay, yes. This spot in the warehouse. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Yes, <laughs> I love that video. 이걸 한번더 보여줘? 아니. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. 이런 데서 찾은 적 없다니까? Solid room. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Sanjay, 아까 안 가봤잖아. 여기 근데 있었나? 여기 없네. 내가 저기서 피규어를 발견한 적이 있었나? This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figly. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, oh yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Annyeong, Yang Dong Yeo. Mr. Memo.
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Game will end in the chase of a ball. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh, 청소 도감도 다 닫는다. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here, 아까 갔었나요? 이 뺑글뺑글 돌았나 여기가? 근데 내려가 볼래. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, he had taken the risk, all because he believed every. Oh. You know, there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti. Get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. 그게 중요한 게 아니야. 나레이터가 사라졌어. 나와라. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. あちめとどん、ちょにょけとどん、あちん、しっさろどどん、バサカンどん。お、バオリンね。あもうたんびちね。いや、エレベーターがあったや。Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets. The keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look! It's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Blah 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 blah. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 이번이 스탠리의 마지막 이야기라고 했으니까 나레이션이 여기로 가는 게 맞을까? 스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리스탠리
Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over. But this ending I saw. Is it again the same thing? Really? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand where to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. So that and that was all that he would know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh. 아니야 여기 위에 먼저 가보자. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired. 안 가본 데가 한세 군데 있네 아직. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do. Oh no, 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 no! You can't. Can you just unplug the phone? Now that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. 
I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices, and to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? 얼마나 봐야 되는 거야? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed this room here? has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. What you got on there? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Oh, okay. Hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. 다시 여기로 가면은 똑같네. 왼쪽으로. 아, oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? 
What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. Oh, I 여기는 완전 개박살이 났네요. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always following my lead. I'm quite sure you'll be fine. Just follow my lead and 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 you'll be fine. Just follow my lead that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ash. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ah. Ah. Ah, that's just Yangdong and Isle. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. 가자 양동아 여기 어딘지 모르겠지만 너와 함께라면 괜찮아. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. 뭐 여기? You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Wee! 
Hey, look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Whee! Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Huh? I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me Andre, to spend Andre. Our Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet certainly game not. Hanata, I game what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Are you the fans, Stanley, give the fans what they want. Hurry and. Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Hey, bucket, we go. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still, no one was here. Game is completely gone. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We 
We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never! Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Oh! There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Is it done? What's going on here? All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. 아 이렇게 양동이에다 스티커 붙여 놓으면 아까 전에 그 양동이 맞추는 퀴즈 할때 거기서 뭔가 할수 있나 보다. Stanley on the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. 어디더라? 돌아갈래? 돌아갈래? 아래로 보내 줘. 아래로 보내 줘. 아래로 보내줘 어? 망가졌다 어? 죄송해요 어? 엘리베이터 망가졌다 죄송합니다. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. 넌 말이 너무 길어. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. 이거 들고 폭발해 볼까? 양동이 들고 폭발했니? 양동이는 나에게 뭔가 정답을 알려주지 않을까? Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 여기를 한 번도 안 가봤으니까 여기는 안 가볼까 그냥? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. 하지만 양동이만 있다면 난 상관없어. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them.
아 여기 거기구나 파쇄기 As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. 하지만 양동이야 너와 함께해서 행복했어. 어? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. 안돼 양동아. 어? It was a shame. The death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to be. 야, 내 양동이 어디 갔어? 내 손에 있던 거. 양동이. 위대한 전시회 오신 것을 환영합니다. 당신은 어느 지식의 벼랑 끝에 서 있습니다. 양동이와 마찬가지로 사람은 종종 내면이 텅빈 것 같은 마치 동굴과 같은 공허함을 느낍니다. 하지만 앞에 있는 전시를 통해 내면은 풍만해지고 풍요로워지고 단단해질 것입니다. 양동이와 그것의 역사에 대한 지식은 우리가 가질 수 있는 유일한 참된 지식입니다. 여기서 배운 지식을 가지고 세상 밖으로 나갈 것입니까? 전시의 내용이 받아들이기 힘들더라도 열린 마음으로 받아들이시겠습니까? 전시를 다 보고 난뒤 당신과 당신이 사랑하는 사람들의 인생을 바꾸시겠습니까? 아니면 모른 척한 채 무주와 어둠 속에서 원래대로 살아가시겠습니까? 뭐야 여기? Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? 25개의 양동이? 이게 어떻게 25개야? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? 손잡이가 두 개인 양동이. 불주옥.. 불주옥 양동이 어 스트레스 양동이 하나의 비유 부정적인 미래 예측 부정적인 생각 양 안정감 결여 불안 해설 없이 출품되었습니다 동굴벽화 우리는 인류보다 양동이가 앞서 존재했다는 것을 알고 있지만 얼마나 오래전부터 존재였는지는 알수 없습니다. 이 동굴 벽화는 초기 인류가 양동의 실용적인 용도로 발견된 한 모습을 그리고 있으며 이 시기에 양동이는 이미 몇 천년 동안 존재해왔을 것입니다. 이 벽화를 통해 어떻게 양동이가 자신과 같은 보물을 인류에게 줄 가치가 있었는지를 판단한 뒤 자신을 상할 수 있도록 허락했는지 확인할 수 있습니다. 네 사람은 가진 벽화 And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Medallion Yangdongi. This work is Yangdongi and the human being's relationship that is strongly shown. Even though Yangdongi is a genuine person, Yangdongi is always standing at our side. This unbearable distance is for our benefit. Yangdongi is a genuine person. Even though Yangdongi is a genuine person, Yangdongi is always standing at our side. This unbearable distance is for our benefit. Yangdongi is a genuine person. Even though Yangdongi is a genuine person. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Oh, 뭐야? 다시 여기야? Stanley, die! Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world. 괜찮아, 영동아. 너 함께라면 난 두렵지 않. 기존의 나레이트 돌았나? 잠깐만 게임을 완전히 껐다가 켜보래 아까 칠판에 그렇게 적혀있었어 게임 껐다 켜보라고 크로스 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 
지금이 어 뭐야 벌써 4시야? 4시 32분 이게 벌써 3시간 했어 거의? 잠깐만 잠깐만요 시작하기 전 한마디 해도 될까요? 게임을 시, 실행한 두번 모두 실제 시간에 맞춰주셔서 감사합니다 많은 사람들이 그 절차를 심각하게 받아들이지 않거든요 그냥 12시로 시간을 맞춰놓고 떠나버립니다 협조를 잘 해주셨으니 다음번에 게임을 실행하고 이 화면을 볼 때는 시계를 당신이 가장 좋아하는 시간으로, 시간으로 설정하세요 뭐야 아직도 투네 This... 뭐가 바뀌었나 이러면? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley picked up the. 어내 양동이 스티커 아직 붙어 있다. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. 어? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. 여기 있었던 게 사라지긴 했네. 꼬다키니까 뭐가 바뀐 건가 이게? Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no 아. remaining stickers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. 이 엘리베이터 뭐 있지 않았나? 여기? 잠겼네? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an... 이게 아닌데 All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The 일단 가자 영동아 Just Stanley in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Bucket, bucket, him bucket. That the employee lounge was simply the place to be, and here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. 여기로 가볼까? 여기 뭐였지? 어 뭐야? 아, 카스테이프 안 나오네, 이번에? 어, 뭐야? Okay. This is day number 295. Take number. I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer you. I feel 또 양동이 너야? Every time I pick it up, no matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still. Haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so. What do I do? Oh, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. I can. I can monetize it. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an 
hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... What's that? Who's there?도대체 양동이가 이들에게 무엇일까? 뭐야? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went to go would be. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And entered the door on his left. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. 양동이 들고 계단 아래요? 계단 아래를 가볼까? 어이 여기 문컨 되나? 이것도 되나? 모르겠다 양동아 가자 아래로 내려가 보고 여기 열려있네? 날이 더 사라졌다 내가 여기 들어가도 이제 잔소리 안해 내가 저 청소 도감에 들어가는 것 자체를 굉장히 싫어했었는데 이제 내가 저기에 들어가도 별 관심을 주지 않잖아 428번이 열렸네. 떠나는 중. 탈출 포드 구역 760층. 여기도 똑같 432 어 뭐야 다 같이 생겼는데? 똑같이 생겼는데? 758 759. 나 여기 처음 보는 거 아니야 나? 탈출 포드 발사 구역. 탈출 구. 깜깜해. 아 저기구나. 응? 너만 나가는 거야? 지금만 양동이만 나가는 거야? 뭘 눈물을 닦아주는 척을 하고 있어? 
아, 잠깐만, 뭔 눈물 닦아주는 척을 하고 양동이를 보내고 있냐 이거? 아니, 야. 무슨 양동이가 나가? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting. 야, 양동이 없어. Simply missed a memo. 양동이 나갔어. 스탠리 came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. 닫을 수 있으면 닫아 보시던가. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might come into a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. 저기 못 만드나 봐 여기. 딱 때라 나도 나간다 아니면 양동이 눈물을 닦아주고 있냐? 울지도 않는데 쟤는 그냥 나 버리고 갔는데 야 나도 간다 아 근데 무슨 건물이 760층까지 있냐 산소 부족하겠다 두바이에 있는 건물 760층이 돼요? 안, 되, 안 되는 거 아니야? 롯데타워 몇 층인데? 롯데타워 엄청 크지 않나? 근데 760층 정도면은 건물에서 산소 계속 내보내주겠다 이거 됐다 곧 간다 양동 이 자식아 나도 뭐야? 뭔데? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 뭔데 이거? 양동이가 그렇게 소중한 오브젝트인 거야? telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. 아까 보던 거나 마저 보자. 그 계속 반대로 가는 거 있잖아요. 말 계속 안 듣는 거. 그건 한번 해 보자. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, good, said the bucket. 
Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was Yang Yu가 나한테 걸고 있어. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. 알겠어, 네가 바라는 대로. He was totally convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. 난널 의심치 않아, 양동아. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. 아 여기? 전화기가 시켰어. 아, 양동이가 시켰어요. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? 나랑 양동이는 그 우리들만의 그게 있다니까 시그널이. Comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't. 양동이 대해서 하도 모르면서 그냥. Video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Hmm. What is comedic timing? What is comedic? Timing. How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit, with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, You'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invaders who threaten our very existence and who very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. What 농담을... 펜스 쳐놨나요? 쳐놨네. I can feel it. 
this time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. Uh, you'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Hokisi Maresmida. Hokisi. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, thank you. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke. I think... 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 I need to go back and re-watch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. What? Uh, we're back well? at the phone already. No, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What? Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. What? Uh, no, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all, all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Oh? Oh? Stanley, you love the bucket so much it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No. No, 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 no. I think this is a good idea. I obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just... I'm no good at these jokes. 
I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never felt by himself and constantly needed support and guidance. From others, so the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Maybe Pakan no? Maybe Maybe what could it? Young doing a sugar witch? Bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest, and this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I and think it so. was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. Somewhere Lamon gun Kubang Bopunigun. Stanley took the door. Segar Sinigun Kubakan Amsanaso. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good. Ah! But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching.